Hey everyone, welcome back. We're over here at Roy's shop today. We're gonna be finishing up some work on the 440. We finally got the rest of the parts that we needed. We got the heads bolted on last week, but uh, we had to determine push rod length. And we got that done and we called Summit and nobody had any push rods the length that we needed. And guys, on these Mopar, big block Mopars, when you put these shaft rockers on, you gotta get the, the cup end and then a ball end for the lifter, but it takes a cup end for the rocker arm. So I bought the uh, push rod length checker from Trick Flow. And what you do, you set him in there and you zero lash it. You zero lash so there's no pressure on your rockers. Well then you gotta take a 12 inch dial indicator and um, get your overall length. Well then you gotta take your other end of your dial indicator and subtract the depth of the cup. And then add your length of your preload in that you want on your lifter and that'll determine what length of push rod you're gonna use. So after I did all that, we came up with um, 8.875 is what we needed for the Harlan Sharp uh, shaft rockers on this. So we had to, um, like I said, nobody had any in stock. So we called uh, Smith Brothers out of California and we had them custom make us a set. These are a chrome molly, 8.875, 5 sixteenths with a 5 30 seconds ball end. It should have been a 5 sixteenths. I wonder why they did the 5 30 seconds. Now, they know more than, I know our stock ones are 5 sixteenths, but I mean, this is the Mopar, the Smith Brothers, they do all kinds of push rods, guys. So here's what uh, the company name and the phone number if you guys ever need a set of push rods made. But like I said, we got them made to the special length, they're Chrome Molly, so hopefully he don't uh, bend them. Where's that one that you bent before? Let's show him that. He's got all of his accessories painted up here on the table. Ready to go there, I just brightened it up for you. But yeah, this is uh, the carnage of his uh, Plum Crazy Purple Challenger there over revving and then this is what happens when the rockers get old too guys they they wear through because they're a solid push rod there's no oil holes in the end so but how many years you would say this, this that ball train's been on that old motor yeah a lot of years like and he ain't nice to it he he drives it so um i think he's been a couple over the years but he's replaced them so by going with this setup it's going to take a lot of wear and tear off the valve train we also had to mill down the heads with a die grinder in here to, to get the rocker clearance. You buy this stuff out of the factory, out of the books, guys, they're not direct bolt-on. You're going to have to massage them. Um, like I said, you got to have 8 to 12 thousandths clearance in between your rocker shafts so they move freely. We had to get all that situated, clearance the heads, but everything's bolted up, ready to go. We're getting ready to put the old valve train in one last time and start bolting the accessories up that he's got all painted up. He's even got his old intake up here painted. Ceramic coated. Ceramic coated his uh, manifolds. His old manifold he pulled off was cracked, so he had to find another set of these 1970 casting, ain't they? Yes. So these are original 1970 high performance manifolds with a two and a half inch outlet. So. If you don't want to go with headers, this is the next best thing. Factory HP manifold. And there's the old uh, intake. He, he repainted everything up. He wanted to keep everything looking factory, but he's for 1,200 bucks. He's got into the heads, plus another 800 into the rocker shafts. He said he's not painting the heads this time. It is what it is. But we're all uh, true top dead center. Everything's in. Cam's in. So we're on the downward stretch now, guys. So I'm gonna put you on the put you on the tripod here, put you on time lapse, and we're gonna get to work.
guys, we got uh, all the rocker assembly put on. We went three quarters of a turn, which is roughly about 50 thousandths preload, I'm thinking on the lifters. Um, as you can see, on our rocker nuts, we're all pretty much same same amount showing on all the top, so I know I'm close. We're actually gonna pre-oil it, um, and because these are tricky when you go to do them because, I mean, you gotta set your zero last, but as you can see, I'm moving the, the rocker very easily. So on these hydraulic flat tappets, you gotta find your zero last by spinning your push rod, but it's very easy to start, you know, the depth on your preload. So at the end, when you know that you got all the same amount of thread showing on your rockers, you know that you're pretty close. So we got his fittings in. He's actually got to run to his, his work and grab uh, some tools and then he's going to finish putting, he's going to put the oil pan on. I actually got to go pick the wipe up from work. But he's going to get the seal put in the timing chain cover. Uh, the gasket's Indian headed to the oil pan. He's going to roll the motor over and get all that done. Timing chain cover on, oil pan, pickup tube. And then we're going to pre-oil the motor and then I'm going to run through the... Um, the rockers one more time before we put the valve covers on. But other than that, it's, it's pretty close, guys. Um, I mean, the sheet metal, intake, carburetors, pre-oil, one more double check, or triple check, we already double checked. But well, we're gonna triple check the rockers one more time um, after we pre-oil, like I said, and uh, we'll be good to go. And then the old plum crazy purple will be ready for action. But, all right, guys, I just wanted to give you the update. Uh, you know, I'm probably not going to video him putting the oil pan on. You guys don't need to see all that. But when we do get it in the car and running, I'll, bring a, I'll do another video after we break it in and um, let you guys hear what it sounds like. And we're going to go put some miles on it after it gets done and break it in right uh, before he pounds on it. But, uh, like I said, we'll give you a ride-along video too, guys. But... As usual, guys, I appreciate you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. All right. Bye-bye.